Namaste children. Few more days left for your board examination. So I thought to share a video about major crops. As few crops are given, little difficult to remember the temperature rainfall, the major growing areas etc. So I thought to uh, write it in a particular way and uh, make a comparison and learn. Okay, let us see rice. What about the rice? It is a Cardiff crop, temperature 25 degrees Celsius and rainfall 100 centimeter. The alluvial clay soil we needed for the rice cultivation and uh, it is I put it in bracket as it is not mentioned in the textbook textbook the whatever the textbook I am having that uh, anyway it is alluvial soil and northern plains northeastern coastal areas deltaic region and then uh, another uh, the previous page this page I am telling you about the rice growing area even though the rice growing area it is written but here here regarding the carry crop and uh, the rabi crop it is written about which are the major growing areas which are the major growing areas that is uh, uh, the northern uh, the plains north and northeastern coastal areas no, uh, northeastern india and coastal areas deltaic region assam west bengal coastal odisha andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu kerala and maharashtra yes 25 degrees celsius temperature and 100 centimeter rainfall it is average temperature then wheat it is a rabi crop so kharif crop and rabi crop and the kharif crop uh, really uh, it starts in the monsoon and uh, the wheat is a rabi crop and uh, here cool growing and bright ripening season cool growing means that is about uh, 20 degrees celsius like that but in your textbook it is not given so that is i am not mentioning cool growing area when it is uh, sowing that time and uh, when uh, the harvesting season bright ripening season about 35 degrees celsius temperature uh, that is the uh, conditions necessary for wheat cool growing uh, time and bright ripening time and uh, loamy soil that is sandy clay silt uh, something uh, like that so the rice it is alluvial soil and uh, wheat it is a loamy soil that is sand clay and silt is there that is also not given in the present textbook then rainfall 50 to 75 centimeter ganga satellite uh, area and uh, northwestern area then black soil region of deccan then which are the major wheat growing areas Punjab, Haryana, UP, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar and Rajasthan and he, here Kerala also efforts are sorry uh, uh, regarding rice also uh, the uh, Punjab, Haryana, UP also the rice started to produce and uh, so this is the wheat so major growing area Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar and uh, Rajasthan yes, then comes maize, maize is a kharif crop so children, according to the textbook topic, I have written the arrangement, rice kharif, then wheat rabi, then again maize kharif crop. But at the same time, it is written that uh, in Bihar, it is a rabi crop. It is a maize is a, a kharif crop, 21 degree to 27 degree Celsius temperature, alluvial soil. Children, you understand, when it is alluvial soil, most often the water, uh, water uh, connected the water soil like a clay type soil will be there um, but in the loamy soil there may be sand will be there that is a well drained soil but alluvial soil it is little clay type soil are there and uh, there is the older alluvial soil you have studied in 9th standard began of the regarding old alluvial no alluvial so this we need a old alluvial soil 50 centimeter to 100 centimeter rainfall. This also bracket I put, it is not in the textbook. So just listen, it is a Kharif crop, it is a Rabi crop in Bihar, and 21 degree to 27 degree Celsius temperature, alluvial soil, old alluvial soil, and they have used high yield varieties of seeds, fertilizers, irrigation facilities, etc. can be used for the maize cultivation. 
which are the major uh, major growing areas karnataka madhya pradesh uttar pradesh bihar andhra pradesh and telangana yes then comes sugarcane it is a tropical and subtropical crop it is a tropical and a subtropical crop hot and humid climate 21 degrees celsius to 27 degree see here also may is also 21 degrees celsius to 27 degrees celsius temperature then rainfall 75 to 100 cm rainfall then it is the second largest producer among the world sugar cane the european countries also having uh, the sugar but, but they are having the sugar beet they are also producing sugar from sugar beet and uh, first uh, uh, producer is largest producer is brazil then which are the three products it is made out of sugar cane that is jaggery khandazari and molasses then uttar pradesh maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu andhra pradesh telangana bihar punjab haryana these are the major producing states of sugar cane then comes tea tea and coffee both are beverage crops it uh, they asked to mark beverage crops it is tea and uh, coffee and uh, tropical subtropical it is tropical and subtropical like sugarcane deep and fertile well drained uh, soil needed rich in humus and organic matter so once more it is a beverage crop tropical and subtropical deep and fertile well drained uh, soil we needed rich in humus and organic matter warm moist frost free moist frost free i think 210 degrees 10 like that uh, anyway i didn't go through that anyway it is moist frost free uh, climate condition needed for tea cultivation frequent showers needed equally distributed equally distributed not too much rain uh, needed frequent showers and it is a labor intensive labor intensive cultivation in order to pluck the tender leaves uh, you know that more labor we needed abundant cheap skill labor we needed then assam is the largest producer darjeeling jalpai guri that is a uh, district in assam where the largest production take place then west bengal tamil nadu kerala then himachal pradesh uttarakhand meghalaya andhra pradesh tripura it is the second largest producer tea then comes uh, coffee what about coffee it is also a beverage crop it is uh, arabica variety brought from yemen i will go through the textbook little more for clarity yes this is an arabica variety initially brought from yemen it is produced in the country this variety is in great demand all over the world initially its cultivation was introduced on the baba bugdan hills and even today its cultivation is confined to the nilagiri hills of karnataka kerala and uh, tamil nadu understood and the beverage spelling b e v e r a g e e i didn't uh, write there that, is, that was the thing i was noticing there yes then so these are the crops yes let our camera focus on like that you can learn yes then i thought to share the millets the major crops millets also written there but it is separately it is written uh, here Uh, that is it is a quais grains high nutritional value uh, regarding jowar bajra and uh, ragi it is a third uh, about the jowar is concerned it is the third most important crop with respect to area and production in india it is third most important crop with respect to area and production and rain fed crop moist areas hardly needs uh, irrigation 
so rain fed crop moist area hardly needs irrigation maharashtra karnataka andhra pradesh and madhya pradesh that is about jowar is concerned then bajra it needed sandy soil shallow black soil rajasthan uttar pradesh maharashtra gujarat and haryana then comes ragi it is rich in mineral other micronutrition and roughage uh, that i did in check what it is and i was teaching that was not there you have to go through sorry then dry regions which are there red black sandy loamy shallow black soil so ragi so ragi where it is cultivated red soil black soil sandy soil loamy soil shallow black soil all these areas it can be cultivated then karnataka tamil nadu himachal pradesh uttarakhand sikkim jharkhand and arunachal pradesh so that is about the uh, yes that is about the millets then i have uploaded yesterday one video about the land utilization really just i was writing it and uh, yes, i think that picture was not clear yes forest land not available for cultivation barren land waste land then the third one other uncultivated land area permanent pastures grazing land miscellaneous tree crops grows then culturable wasteland fallow land and uh, just uh, i had given an introduction regarding the conservation of resources here how to conserve soil how to conserve soil so yesterday if the picture was not clear i am giving you once more showing you once more for clarity deforestation overgrazing construction mining and defective farming are the reasons for soil erosion see that uh, is how it is unfit bad land sheet erosion wind erosion then why it happens because of the rational consumption and over utilization of resources that is a major reason we need conservation of resources whether it is water whether it is mineral whether it is forest whether it is wildlife whether that is that throughout we can say to conserve the flora and fauna irrational consumption and over utilization uh, uh, tells us to give more importance to conservation of resources whatever resource it is then so in the soil erosion they are asking conservation through uh, contour lines uh, contour ploughing see that contour ploughing strip cropping shelter belts like that is uh, yes, one thing in between uh, terrace farming etc this is yesterday's video and uh, i think that picture was not clear so uh, as i am taking this with the help of mobile only i have not taken out the camera just i am doing it for you children that only and one thing also you understand that without editing all this i am doing that thank you